Let's start at the very beginning, and the very beginning would be the question, where do objects come from? How do we create them? In order to create an object, you need something called a class. So what is a class? A class is like a blueprint. It's the mold. It's the thing which defines what the object will look like, what its attributes are, what its characteristics are. And so the best way to demonstrate this is to demonstrate this. So I've created a brand new project. I use a uh, IDE called PHP Storm. If you're using something else, that's perfectly fine. You can use just a text editor if you want, or you can use um, Visual Studio Code. That's another very popular choice. But I've used PHP Storm uh, for a long time, for many years. And so I've got so many keyboard shortcuts and things set up that it just makes sense for me to use this. It's not an endorsement of this uh, editor over another. It's just what I'm used to using. So I've created a uh, folder or a project and I've just called it chapter one. So everything from chapter one will be done inside of this one. And so we're just going to start off by creating a PHP file and we'll call it creating classes. And so inside of this file, what we will do is we'll create a class, a very basic class. We're going to keep things nice and simple, keep the pace nice and relaxed. And then we're going to use that class in order to create an object from it. And so that class will represent a thing. And that thing in this case will be a product, like a product which you see on an e-commerce site. So how do we do this? We use a keyword called class. And so it's simply that all lowercase class. And then after that, you follow it with the name of the class. We've said that our class is going to be called product. And this is going to be what is used in order to create products. So product. And then what you do is you use an opening and closing curly braces. And so you'll notice that I've put the curly braces like this. I've dropped down to the next line. However, this still works, you can put them after that. Uh, but the current PHP standards, the best practice or the, um, the standards which de define how you should type your code and how you should present it, the latest versions say that you should really drop it down onto the next line. And so there, believe it or not, you've actually created your first class. However, on its own, it's not actually doing much. In order to make use of this class, we're gonna take it and use it to create an object. And so the way that we do this, or the way that we're going to do this in this instance, is we're gonna give it a variable name. So we'll just keep life simple and we'll name the variable after the class, although we could call it anything. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So product equals, because we're making an assignment here, new, and then the name of the class, which in our case, is product. So there we have created an instance of the product class. We have created an object and we can go and inspect that object by using a uh, var dump. So var dump product. We're just going to execute this file. So I'll say PHP and then creating classes.php. And so here it dumps out our product. So it's saying that it is an object of the product uh, class type and this little hashtag number one that is just an internal reference because uh, objects will all have their own individual internal references okay so that's how we uh, create a single object we're going to use the same product class to create another product and so we'll actually give it that name like I say, you can call these things, uh, these variables, anything, as long as you stick within the rules of how you name variables. So another product equals new product. And so there we've created an entirely different object. So these two are not related. The only thing that relates them is that they've been created using the same mold, i.e. the same class. So then we can go and actually far dump both of these. And so there we have object one, which is of type uh, product. And then we have our object, our second object, which is another object, which again is of type 
product. So using a single product class, you can actually take that and use it to produce multiple product objects.